Hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, so since like the beginning of our YouTube channel, we have noticed a consistent theme amongst those who rudely and ignorantly don't believe that we are a real couple. Yeah, they think that because we don't uh, kiss passionately and other forms of intense physical affection on camera, on camera, because we don't do that on camera, we are not a real couple. Let's read some examples of the thousands of very similar comments that we get. Yeah, this was just the first five we found. I, I picked five in literally about three minutes of looking this morning. Okay. Here we go. This is from Jonathan Stevens Jr. I think that might be his real name. I've watched several videos and I've never seen them kiss, which makes this seem odd. Then he used the emoji that has the little spyglass, like the little finger. He hasn't watched very many of our videos if he hasn't seen, seen us kiss? one where we kiss. I know. We kiss in lots of them. Okay. That's besides the point. Yeah. This guy says, tongue kiss him on camera to prove you are a real couple. Fake romance. Tongue kiss him. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right, uh, you guys are so boring. Give us some action. Prove it. Just kiss with tongue and lick his face and neck. Do something spontaneously. Prove it. Nice. Lick his face. All right. Roger says, sorry, but again, I struggle to take your relationship seriously when you don't show actual passionate kissing or fondling. Fondling. I, I know all of you are going to think I am mean, but it doesn't seem real without it. To me, she acts more like a mother than a lover. Okay. Not me, I'm just really weird that you want to see creepy. us fondling each other. Joshua Daniel says, I want to see her kiss him passionately, dot, 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 with intense affection. See how her reaction is. <laughs> I can see every time because I think he thinks I would like throw up, you know, because we're like a fake couple that if I kiss you, I'll throw up. It's proof. So what we decided to do is to give all of you uh, little horn dolls um, the video that you, you asked for. have always wanted. We will now prove to all of you <laughs> definitively that we are a real couple. So we're going to cut and then we're going to begin the video again. And this will be the, the start of the Sorby and Grubbs video that all of you want so badly. Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome back to Spermy and Drums. We have a really fun episode for you today, but first I just want to talk a little bit about, oh hey hon, just want to talk a little bit about kind of what we've been doing this past week. As you know, we haven't been doing a whole lot. We've been mostly staying at home. Uh, I left once or twice to shower. As you know, I can't shower. Oh, hungry. That is passionate of you. Oh, a little ear bite. That feels nice. Wait, do the ear again. Let me do that. Mm. Wait, let me kiss you. Oh, you smell good. Oh. Wait, they can't see it. Oh. oh. Mm. Try to... Try to fit your entire body in my mouth. I'm sorry, I'm just feeling really spontaneous today, Shane. And passionate. Really passionate and spontaneous. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I don't even know if I can film this video. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Today, we're talking about physical affection. So <laughs> this video is in no way going to be us defending to all of those yeah, ignorant no. people the fact that we are affectionate because, like, Hannah and I are adults and yes. we're perfectly happy yeah. with the level of affection that we have in our life. And those comments are ridiculous, so and, I'm not going to entertain them. And the level that we show in our public, public YouTube, like the fact that my grandmother is going to have to watch us contest now. Yeah. Sorry, Nana, I love you. Uh, but we're just trying to prove a point here. So, this that's like the, yeah. the overall caveat is that we're not like defending. Yeah, that. it's just an um, interesting topic. Yeah. Even though it's here. Oh, that was spontaneous and affectionate of you. It's just an interesting topic, though, talking about how affection evolves over time and, you know, public versus private affection. Like before that little stunt that we just did, 
Kenna and I hadn't physically touched in like four months. <laughs> Oh, Shane. Oh, goodness. All the people that are watching this, there's going to be people that don't understand what you're kidding. Maybe we should make this video a little bit more genuine. A little bit more naked. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. So anyway, we didn't start our YouTube channel until two years into our relationship. And now we've been together for four years. I know that a lot of people are like, I've been together for 20 years. And I'm sure that when we've been together for 20 years, we can update this video and it'll be very different. <laughs> but looking back on the four years, yeah. four years ago, we were giddy to even be within a foot of each other you it, know like, it was a honeymoon phase but like real intense very intense honeymoon phase <laughs> i think that was intensified by our long distance relationships so that whenever we were in person we were really excited to be in person <laughs> i remember <laughs> so we used to hannah used to fly into philadelphia to visit yeah. and usually like my dad or my brother Someone would help me drive down to Philadelphia to pick her up. Yep. And those were like an hour, hour and a half long car rides from the airport back home. Yeah. And this was always when our like physical affection desire was like peak. Yeah. Because we hadn't been together and Ken was visiting. Uh, so on those car rides home with like my dad driving, we'd be like, Holding hands and like rubbing arms, kissing. I can from barely time to breathe, you, Shane. So when we used to drive, like Shane's dad would be driving, I'd be in the passenger seat, and Shane would be behind us in the back. <laughs> so the entire drive, I would just be turned around. Your poor family, turned around, holding his hand, <laughs> literally kissing. Like so cringy now, looking back. So on it. bad. But yeah, in those early days, we were like, yeah, intimate, like nonstop. Yeah, it was oh. annoying. <laughs> It's annoying for everyone else, I'm sure. <laughs> but now we've been together for four years. We've lived together for over two years, mm -hmm. and we have access to each other 24 seven. Access. So literally, you should put access in. We have access. access to each other 24 seven. So when we turn a video on, our first instinct is 100% not to Just kiss. Just like kiss and make out. If anything, and... we'll kiss right before the video and then not kiss for the video very specifically. <laughs> it's uncomfortable, and like Shane said, our family members watch our videos. And there are plenty of ways that Ken and I are affectionate. And I think that because we are in an interabled relationship, we should talk about just a few of those ways. Yeah. So the biggest way is sleeping together. We sleep literally like <laughs> I can't even describe how we're naked, first of all. Sorry, Diana. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. But like Hannah I don't even know how to describe it. You like envelop me. Yeah. In well, bed. You know. Yes. I mean, <laughs> my like we have a king size bed. Um, and thank you, lol. What? Thank you, lol. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you, lol. We have a king size bed, and you can like see my little imprint, like where my pillow is, and like my little area is literally like Shane sleeps on the edge of one side, then there's me, and then there's a giant part of the bed. It's ridiculous. You've seen, you may have seen, our How to Huddle video, oh, yeah. which was mostly just like jokes. Yeah, it was satire. But like some of those positions we actually use to sleep together. Yeah. Basically, we get in bed, Hannah scoots up behind me, puts her arm around me and under me, her legs tuck up <laughs> under my legs. I'm really cozy. I, it was so warm. Yeah, but then like an show. hour in, Shane's like, uh, Excuse me. I know. In the beginning, it's like, this is, I'm always cold right when I get in bed. So, like, feeling your skin against yeah. my back. And, like, oh, it feels so good. But then, then you want to sleep. Then, an hour later, I'm like, I'm really hot. I like, also twitch a lot when I fall asleep. <laughs> so, sometimes I'll jolt myself awake and wake Shane up. It's a whole thing. So, that is one way. In the morning, our morning routine is basically snuggle. We wake up, and I ask Tara to roll me over into her yeah um, well you sleep on your left side yeah yeah so i roll and kind of like snuggle up into her i don't know yeah. i rest my head on her boobs most amazing pillow <laughs> in the entire world uh and we just kind of wake up for a half hour together like that yeah regarding kissing um since i am not physically able to initiate a kiss like i can't like it sounds horrible, but like grab her and kiss her. 
uh, which shouldn't be doing anyway. But uh, I initiate it like this. I go, yeah. I show my lips like that, which means like, hey, come down mm -hmm. to my level. <laughs> uh, you know? Yeah, it's and true. I mean, you're not really even thinking about it, but yeah. that is like something you should say like that. Yeah. yeah, I do that to you though, also. Like before I come over, I'll like do that to you from across yeah, the room. Well, really. Yeah, it's like really weird. We have like taken it on also. I know we just we tend to do that. Uh at night when we're watching a movie, we are often holding hands. Yep. Um I usually stay in my chair, but some nights we'll cuddle on the couch to watch our movie. Yep. We're normally EM. I know. So we're not laying down there. And that's another example of like how our relationship has matured yeah. over the years. Do you remember four years ago in your basement watching movies? Don't talk about that. I mean, you would, I would like, we would literally sprint downstairs, I'd throw you on the couch, I'd like snuggle up behind you and we wouldn't move for like five hours. I know. Like we would stay on that couch <laughs> for the entire night and we wouldn't have snacks and now we've, you know, yeah. expanded. Yeah, now we're like, okay, we can cuddle all night long. Yeah. Like, let's have a, a good snack. Have a snack. <laughs> um, the other day, Hannah loves foot rubs, and you may think that with these mangled up curl daddies, uh, I'm not able to give good foot rubs. You would be surprised. Yeah, you would be surprised. You put all of your force into those foot rubs, and it's nice. <laughs> so I also you... like I like like t like leg like tickles. Oh, you love my tickles. I, I really like <laughs> she like tickles my leg, so I'll give him my whole leg. Well, that's another thing. I can put Hannah back to sleep in the morning. When I roll over into her, just by moving my thumb around on her side, uh -huh. she'll just be like, ah. uh, I love that. <laughs> and then there's like, you know, intimacy. Yeah. Which, uh, again, different video. Different video down the road. It hasn't happened yet. Don't go looking for that video. Nana, don't worry. We're not talking about it. Yeah. But we are physically intimate. Yeah. And we've said that a thousand times and people are gonna continue yeah. to not believe it until we release a, a, <laughs> a video. little video but, never gonna happen um so all is good on that front as yeah. well uh, here's some intimacy they probably don't know that you do this like eight times a video i know you want to tell them what you're doing i think we've we've told them before this is how i achieve uh satisfaction there's a whole <laughs> <laughs> I'm stretching Shane's neck because yeah. his neck muscles are tight. It just feels good. It feels really good. This is affection. All right, thank you. Oh, we normally cut those out, but that was a that was a good uh, one. That was, that was a good we one. achieved satisfaction. <laughs> All right. So long story short, Shane and I have matured over the past two years. Yeah, affection has changed. Yeah, it's changed. It's grown. It's gotten better. I mean, yeah, literally. <laughs> um, and we also just don't feel the need to put excessive kissing in every video. I personally wouldn't watch a YouTube channel that was like TDA uh, Yeah, filled, so. Just what's the point of that? It feels so weird. Yeah, it does. I know there's gonna be people that comment, they're like, I've been with my partner for a hundred years and all they do is kiss. <laughs> it's just, it's just differences. It's nothing against it. No, yeah. It's, yeah, it's just <laughs> our opinion and our preference, so. It doesn't feel like professional or, you know, yeah. like, you're almost 30 years old. I know. Well, I am. You're you like are. 19, but. <laughs> exactly. But it just doesn't feel like a professional thing to be putting in yeah. videos. I mean, we do like speaking engagements and stuff, and it, yeah, it doesn't feel professional. You're right. Yeah. It's very odd. If we were sitting here and you were listening to my face while we. <laughs> it would be hard to market us as professionals. You're right. <laughs> um. So, yeah, that's the, that's the story of our physical affection. Yep. It's good. But and it's private. We just don't like pay in videos. It's weird. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Now kiss me. I was trying to. Now kiss me. Is the video off? <laughs> the video's off. Get back to licking. You only did that side of my face. Now time for the other side. Bye.